assalamu alaikum everyone i am dr muniba hasan said and this is lecture 2 of our antimicrobial stewardship series and uh, it's about the five d's of antimicrobial stewardship the five d's are disease drug dose duration and de escalation so before prescribing any antibiotic you need to look into these five very important aspects the first one is the disease so uh, the foremost important question is does this disease need antibiotic or not what is the underlying condition what is the patient suffering from actually is it a viral or a bacterial illness if you take the example of pneumonia so you need to know whether it's a bacterial pneumonia or a viral pneumonia because there is no use of prescribing an antibiotic in case of viral pneumonias it will only in it it will be of no use and secondly it will only increase the propensity of patient to develop antimicrobial resistance the second most important d is the drug what's the appropriate drug to treat this always before prescribing any antibiotic always ask yourself is the bacteria susceptible to it or not for instance if the patient uh, comes to you with pneumonia and it is a community acquired pneumonia we know that the most uh, uh, most common organism causing that pneumonia is streptococcus pneumoniae and it is susceptible to ceftriaxone so i would never prescribe someone who is coming from community uh, with community acquired pneumonia uh, piperacillin tazobactam or meropenem so uh, always always think about the underlying bacteria which is causing the disease and then prescribe antibiotic which is appropriate to it for example if you are dealing with uh, a skin infection uh, an abscess and you think that the likely organism is uh, methicillin resistant staph aureus so the choice of antibiotic would be the one which covers mrs so in the next lecture i will tell you about the different spectrum of antibiotics but for now just remember this d this d is for the drug whether the uh, drug you are um, prescribing is it appropriate or not the third d is the dose what is the recommended dose always mention the dose in uh, milligrams or grams for instance uh, the usual ciprofloxacin dose is 500 mg twice daily so never prescribe it in one daily dose always write the appropriate strength and the frequency is it one daily twice daily or three or four times a day fourth one is the duration of therapy what is the recommended duration of therapy so this uh, you will decide only if you know the underlying disease if the patient is suffering from cystitis which is only a, a urinary bladder infection the duration would be 3 days no point of prescribing antibiotics longer than that if the patient is suffering from pyelonephritis like kidney infection the duration would be 14 days so never under treat that pneumonias the duration of therapy from 5 to 7 days but you can go up to 10 days in cases of infective endocarditis the duration is 4 to 6 weeks so whenever you are prescribing antibiotic always mention the duration of therapy if the diagnosis uh, is definite fifth d is de escalation can the antibiotic be switched from iv to oral so there are many antibiotics which have got a uh, very good oral bioavailability and if the patient is able to take orally always switch from iv to oral form like if the patient is on iv ciprofloxacin you can switch it to oral if the patient is on iv lenalidocaine you can switch it to oral if the patient is able to tolerate it orally also fluconazole is one which has got very good oral bioavailability so you can also switch that from iv to oral if the patient can tolerate it second thing about de escalation de escalation to de escalate something kisi cheez ko kam karne ko de escalation karna hai second thing is after culture report switch to an antibiotic which is appropriate and has the narrowest coverage uh, for instance empirically if the patient is coming to you and you have started a broad spectrum antibiotic but once the cultures like uh, like any sort of a hospital acquired pneumonia you have started patient on meropenem 
later the tracheal culture or the sputum culture shows pseudomonas aeruginosa which is sensitive to uh, ciftazidim fibrocellin tazobacter meropenem and your patient is already on meropenem always de escalate to the antibiotic which has the narrowest spectrum so of ciftazidim fibrocellin tazobacter meropenem the ciftaz has the narrowest spectrum so always de escalate so from meropenem i will switch that to ciftazidim very important thing to uh, remember. It's not like that, that the patient is on meropenem and the sensitivity is showing meropenem, so you'll continue mero. No, don't do that. Always de-escalate your antibiotics. So next time, whenever you prescribe anyone any antibiotic, think of these five Ds. What is the underlying disease? Is the drug, uh, is the bacteria susceptible to that drug or not? What is the appropriate dose? What is the duration? and never forget to de-escalate. Thank you.